Hey everybody, it's Luke over Galaxy Tech Review and today I've got a product. This is the Qbox Android TV box running on Android 5.1.1. You can check this Android TV box out on Amazon at the time of this video for $65 and I will have a link as always in the description below where you guys can check this out. Uh, now going at some of the specs, there are some on the outside of the box here. You're going to have two gigs of RAM on this which is important for these TV boxes. I've tested some with one gig of RAM and you can see some slow down. Not that they're terrible uh, but it's always good to have that extra gig of RAM in here. 16 gig of ROM. This will do Wi-Fi. It has a built-in Wi-Fi module at 802.11a, b, g, and n so it will support 5 gigahertz networks as well as 2.4 gigahertz networks. Bluetooth 4.0, your input is a DC 5 volt at 2 amps and it is uh, running on that uh, base of Android 5.1.1. So let's open this up. Now this runs on a uh, four uh, core CPU, a Cortex A53 CPU, and the GPU is a Mali 450, which we've seen in other boxes as well. Uh, and it does a good job with keeping up with everything. Uh, here is the box itself, and I'm just gonna pull everything out, show you guys what comes inside the box. And then we'll get the box out of the way. They do give you an HDMI cable here. It's only like a two footer, but it's nice that they include it. Uh, here is your two uh, 5 volt, 2 amp uh, input DC for uh, powering the box itself. Uh, the cable on this, and I will forewarn you, is not that long, so um, just be aware of that when you're setting, placing this in your entertainment center or wherever you will be placing it. They do give you a remote. Uh, I'm not a big fan of these remotes. Uh, they're okay for basic stuff, but if you're getting into typing in things and doing other things with your Android box, you're better off doing a wireless keyboard uh, with a USB dongle that you can plug right into the box. So that way you can get a keyboard and a mouse, and you'll have keyboard and mouse control from wherever, you know, your couch or whatever, uh, and you'll be able to input and navigate things much more easily. Now this will work. Uh, it's got some basic buttons here for Kodi, your apps, your video, your web browser, uh, and things like that. Uh, so you can actually navigate all these right from the uh, actual incl included remote. But I'm not a big fan of these remotes because it's just more cumbersome. It's much easier to put a smaller uh, uh, USB-based um, uh, keyboard and mouth combo on your uh, Android box. So I would go with that. Now they do give you a user manual here. Uh, this will support UHD 4, uh, 4K at 60 frames per second. So if you have a TV that's 4K that'll handle it, you're gonna be able to pump out 4K streaming video or local video on this, no problems. Uh, I do not have a 4K TV to test it on, so I didn't test the 4K, but I did test a 1080p video and it was excellent on this. I'm not gonna spend too much time on this manual. Uh, it's more for you to take a look at, uh, but again, you can, uh, uh, check it out if you buy the box and uh, hold on to it just because it gives you some specifications here on what it will do. And I will leave this up if you guys want to freeze frame that. You can check it out yourself. But, uh, you know, it's got the uh, Google Play Store, uh, so you can pretty much add anything that you want to from the Google Play Store. Video formats, uh, MPEG 1, 2, and 4, uh, H.264 and 265. Real video formats, uh, including AVI, MP MPEG, VOB, MKV. Uh, TS, M2 TS, it just keeps going. Uh, so you've got your JPEG, uh, uh, BMP and PNG files, MP3, WMA, uh, WAV, MIDI, AUG, AC3. Uh, so you've got your AC3 format in there uh, and AAC format as well. So if you have like a, uh, you know, a uh, MP3 or MP4 file, I mean, that will, uh, you know, have some uh, AC3 audio, you'll be able to play that back locally as well. Quad core, uh, Cortex A53, two gigahertz, main chipset, uh, a Pentacore Mali 450 for your GPU, uh, and then two gigs of, gigs of DDR3 memory here. So uh, a lot of good stuff in this book if you want to hold on to it. Let's take a look at the box real quick. Uh, and if you look at it, it's got a nice cue on the on the front here. Uh, it's a shiny thing, and it's got a little LED light that will light up when you plug uh, this guy in. It's a blue LED light as well. Going around the box itself, you're going to have a full-size SD card, uh, so you can use an adapter to shrink it down to all the way down to um, uh, micro SD. You've got two full USB ports here, which I love. Uh, so you can put in a USB drive if you wanted to. You could put in uh, a wired keyboard and mouse if you wanted to, or a wireless mouse uh, in one of them, and uh, you know. Uh, USB drive in the other one. Uh, you've got one uh, 
HDMI out, you have a LAN port here as well as that embedded Wi-Fi module. You have your AV in as well. You have an optical uh, in as well, or output, I, I should say, as well, so that you can get optical audio. Uh, and then you have your DC uh, as uh, well on the back. On the bottom, it just says OTT TV box. Uh, it's got a nice rubber ring here to hold it in place. And uh, they did a really good job on this. It's a small box, uh, and but it has a lot of good features to it. And we're going to get into those right now. So I'm going to uh, cut to the features and showing you the box running, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so what we've got here now is the Q box at the start screen. And we've seen this on many other uh, TV boxes where you'll have your Kodi Media Center here to the left and then you'll have a Media Center update and you'll have your apps drawer. Uh, you'll have your, your date and your time at the top here uh, and also with your connectivity as far as whether you're connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, they've add, added this widget uh, for weather up here, something a little bit different that I haven't seen on other ones. Uh, so that's pretty interesting. Uh, you've got a built-in browser here and you've got your settings down here at the right hand side. Now uh, you also have along the bottom, you do have some uh, familiar Android uh, back home buttons, uh, some volume increase and decrease buttons here as you can see. And you can actually hide this tray on the left hand side if you want to. Uh, if we go into settings, you're going to see uh, they, they have everything from network to display to sounds, uh, storage and reset. If we go to about box here, uh, it's basically going to show us uh, th that we can do a system update. The name of the device is called the Q box. Uh, and then we have some other uh, stuff as I scroll down here, version 5.1.1 as the Android version, your kernel version, your build version is here as well. So you've got that, you've got your uh, more settings here that you can dig further into if you want to. Uh, this will bring you more to your traditional Android setup where you've got your Wi-Fi, your data usage, your display uh, security where you can, uh, you know, disable uh, unauthorized apps, make passwords visible, you know, uh, device unknown sources, make sure that that's on if you're going to sideload any APKs and that type of thing there. You have your backup and reset if you want to reset the box itself. Uh, and you've got all of that there. So it's just more of that more setting is kind of a uh, just a little bit more information on what you're already seeing here. Uh, you've got your language and keyboard here. You've got your Bluetooth. You can turn that on if you want to. You can add Bluetooth speakers to this if you would like to. Uh, you can do other things uh, as well as um, set up, you know, your Bluetooth, your location. Uh, I'm logged into my Google account here. You can add other accounts like Vudu and uh, other movie streaming accounts there. Uh, if we go into apps, we're going to have all the apps that are already installed. We've got a 3D gallery app. We've got an app installer for sideloading APKs on a USB drive or something like that. Uh, you've got Facebook built in. You've got, you know, most of the stuff that you normally see, Netflix, uh, the full access to the Play Store. So anything that you uh, should need on the Play Store, uh, you can load up from here. So that's actually really cool uh, that we have the Play Store here. Mobdro, which is one of my favorites. I'll launch that real quick and show you guys that. If you want to check out movies, you can just go to the Movies tab. It'll load up and uh, you can go to one of the movies. Uh, and as you can see, you've got a movie streaming back here. Uh, no problem. Now, these are streaming movies. Uh, this will support up to 4K video, but on a lot of these services, you're not going to see something that that high uh, of an encoding. Now, if I had Voodoo on here or something like that, and this is a 4K TV, uh, we could do that and we wouldn't have any problems there. Uh, but a mob draw is great. Uh, you know, you can check out sports, you can check out music, tech, uh, all kinds of different channels, including uh, other uh, you know, mainline stuff like uh, ABC and NBC, CBS, the CW, all of that as well. Uh, if you want to play Netflix, Netflix is supported on this box. It comes pre-installed. Uh, I should just log right in with my Google Smart Lock, which I do. So I'll have that there. And then we'll just do a uh, playback real quick to make sure that something plays back. Um, every once in a while, you'll get an error that it won't play back. Uh, we'll try maybe the flash and see what we can come up with here and make sure that we do get a playback on this. Now, I haven't run into any problems, so I don't think that there will be a problem. And we don't. It plays back very nice. I don't have any problems with this at all. It looks really good. So you've got your Netflix playback as well. You can add games to this. Obviously, anything that you want to throw on the 
um, a Google Play Store, you've got speed test built in so you can check your speed. Uh, they throw Showbox in, although I think Showbox is dead now. Uh, they have a quick support thing, which is really cool. It runs off of um, Team Viewer, so if you need to connect or, or have somebody else connect to you to help you out, uh, you can do that. Uh, and I thought that was cool that they put it on here. I, don't, I probably won't use it. You do have Root Explorer on here as well. Uh, you can go to update and get OTA updates on this as well. So they did an awesome job on this. Online updates do work. Uh, I have tested it. If we go to online update, it will connect. Uh, on a lot of other TV boxes, you get a failed uh, to connect to server. On this one, uh, it takes about uh, a few seconds, but it comes back with an update that is available that I have not done yet. So this one actually is uh, able to update from their OTA server, which is uh, great. Uh, so that's great that they do that. I won't make you wait through that. Uh, Twitter pre-installed, YouTube is also pre-installed, um, and if you want to, and that was the ding that I got there that said that there was an update, uh, if you want to go through your file browser, I have a USB drive here if we want to play uh, movies or files, uh, we can play something like Age of Ultron here, uh, and it will play back uh, 1080p uh, and have no problems playing 1080p files. Again, this will also play back more than just 1080p files. This will play up to 4K files as well if you have a display that will handle them. So as you can see, great playback here from the USB drive. So they did an excellent job on this as well. Now I am using a mouse on external mouse on this to make navigation uh, a little bit better. I would suggest that you do the same uh, while you're doing it. They have an on-screen uh, type keyboard uh, that you can use uh, and uh, it's just, a little bit cumbersome to use that or the remote control. So you're best using a uh, USB keyboard and mouse, and they happen to have two USB ports as stated before on the back of the box. You can set up uh, your Gmail in here. You can set up other email as well if you want to uh, get email on this. So they've really done a good job with this. This is a solid, solid box uh, with a lot of options. Uh, it's not laggy at all, plays all video sources that I've tested on it very well. You get one button for cleaning memory out, like there on the right, as you can see, we can clean memory out if we want, uh, so you can do that. And uh, overall, uh, the Qbox is a very, very good box, uh, will connect to 5 gigahertz networks, also has a uh, LAN connection for wired connections, and I'm definitely giving this guy a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. I'm going to end this portion of the demo here and uh, finish up the review. So that was my review of the Android Q Box uh, TV box. You can check that out again on Amazon if you guys want to. The link, of course, will be in the description below where you guys can check it out. Uh, again, uh, just a few things to remember. Uh, this box is great. It's got 2 gigs of RAM, 16 gigs of ROM. It runs on uh, Android 5.1.1 as its backbone and does very well, uh, keeping up no lag whatsoever between switching between things uh, as far as uh, apps go and stuff like that. It is 4K at 60 frames per second uh, capable if you have a display that will take care of that. Uh, so that's something to keep in mind too. Uh, so the Qbox, very solid. Uh, on the air updates are working with this. So overall, a lot of really good points to this uh, box. Uh, I've tested some other ones where they weren't getting their over the air updates uh, and maybe lagged a little bit because they only had one gig of RAM or something like that. Uh, this guy's very quick, very responsive, and does a great job in all the areas that I tested it with. So I'm definitely giving this a double thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or co uh, comments about the Q box, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe and I'll check you guys out on the next video.